So guys, this is the last lesson of Checklister course and series, at least for now. We will implement the last bit that we haven't implemented, it's integration with email marketing provider, and maybe in the future I will shoot more videos if you have some ideas what to fix or what to implement, and I see that it's useful for others, or if client requests more features and I think it is useful for our audience, so maybe I will expand a bit more, but for now the last bit is integrating with email marketing provider. And in our case, we're using MailChimp. You can use other email marketing software like ConvertKit, there's ActiveCampaign and a lot of others. It's really crowded space. And what the customer meant here by integration is whenever someone registers on Checklister, they are added to the email list, to the subscription of email newsletter. You could argue whether that's ethical or not, but I will just show the technical implementation. So whenever someone registers, they will be added to MailChimp audience. I have my own MailChimp account for sending my own newsletter so I can test it out really easily. I've created a new audience. It's another word for list just in MailChimp vocabulary. And what we need to have for the audience is the ID of that audience, which we will pass into the package. I will get to that in a minute. So we have two parameters. We need two parameters. It's API key for the whole MailChimp. You can find it on your MailChimp dashboard. And then the ID of the audience where to add to. And for all of that, we will use a package called Spotty Laravel Newsletter. I will zoom it in a bit. It's really easy to implement. And I decided to use this package instead of MailChimp official API or MailChimp official package, because it also provides the newsletter capability, which may be useful for the client in the future. So we need to add the MailChimp API key, the subscriber list ID or audience ID, and that's it. Then we can call the method of newsletter subscribe. That's it. So let's try to do that. We install by composer require. It actually uses MailChimp API under the hood, as you can see. And then in the configuration, which we need to publish first. So we publish the configuration and then we need to take a look at config newsletter. So if we go to config newsletter, we have subscribers ID of list and then also MailChimp API key. They are both under env file, so it's cool to add those as .env variables. And I will do exactly that now. So I have set my MailChimp API key and MailChimp list ID, and now let's try it out. We go to registration form. As usual, I use fake filler Chrome extension. We register, and fingers crossed, we are in. No error. And let's check our audience. Let's refresh the MailChimp. And behind the scenes, I've done another test because the first test failed and I didn't realize why. Apparently MailChimp has some protection for fake email addresses like at mailinator.com or something. So I have registered with my own Gmail and now it worked. So the same thing, audience has one subscriber now. So that's it. This is how easy it is to add a subscriber to your MailChimp newsletter. And as I said, that's it for this course, for this series, for now. If you have any suggestions, ideas, or notice some bugs, the repository is still public on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. Any comments are welcome. And now I'm moving on to shooting new courses on other topics and see you guys in other videos and other courses.